I can't think of too many things more frustrating in this business than working with a buyer for months, sometimes even years, writing up a lot of offers for them, showing them tons of property. You finally get that offer accepted, and what do they do? Get cold feet, sometimes back out. Hi, I'm Dave Carley with Crush It In Real Estate, and that happens especially a lot this time of year. Now you have to put yourself in the buyer's shoes. This is a huge decision, potentially one of the biggest ones they'll ever make. So what do they do? Exactly what you would do. They call their loved ones, their friends, their family. Now those people have the greatest intentions, but they're not actually in the business. So they tell them things like, you paid over asking price for a home? I, I wouldn't even pay asking price. You, you waived your home inspection? What if something happens with the home? You covered your appraisal gap? All these things we know happen every day, but to the outsider, they don't happen all that often. What else happens? They continue to search for properties, right? They wanna make sure they're overpaying. So they're scouring that neighborhood just to make sure that doesn't happen. Now, can we avoid it? No, but it's in our best interest and our client's best interest to make them see the big picture. How do you think those buyers felt last year and two years ago that backed out? Maybe they found a home, maybe they haven't, but they're now looking at the home that had minor issues. The value has greatly increased and they're stuck on the sideline. So what can we do to help avoid these situations? Couple tips, we talk about all these in our buyer client roadmap, of course we offer, but number one, don't just run over to them and tell them the offer's been accepted. What, make them wait a little while. The quicker you go and tell them, the more they're gonna think, oh my God, was I the only offer? Oh my God, did I overpay? So don't, don't run to tell them right away. They can wait a little while. Number two, it's always close. Now don't go telling your buyer, oh, you, your offer was tops by 10,000, right? It was always close, there were other offers. Now another tip, number three, remind them as they're getting ready for the home inspection of issues that they knew about, right? You knew that the roof was a little older. The seller's disclosure said this, the seller's disclosure said that. You know, caution them, number four. I know that your loved ones have the best intentions, but when was the last time they bought or sold the home? I do this every day. Uh, number five, if you have them searching for properties on an IDX, uh, IDX system, we use RealScout, shut that off. Right? They can continue to searching for properties on their own, but why are you blasting them with new listings in that neighborhood, making them potentially think they're gonna overpay? Remember, they're not seeing the sold price on those new listings, they're only seeing the list price. And then most importantly, if they've seen all along that you've had their best interest in mind, they're not gonna worry about overpaying. And in this market of such appreciation, can you really overpay? Think, think of the cost of waiting, remind them of those. If home prices continue to appreciate, if they continue to pay rent, all those factors that we know about that they may not be considering. So again, you can't avoid every client getting cold feet. You can't avoid, especially first time home buyers looking to back out. But if you take some of these steps, you're gonna minimize the amount that it happens and maximize the amount of time you actually get them to the finish line. Hope it helps.